Right, I'll have to go in a bit. I haven't had any dinner yet. I mean, neither. <laughs> How about a curry? Ooh, nice. Before we go, why don't we give the lady something to really talk about? So that's a white wine for Carmel. Thanks, Mum. Mum and Black? Yes, for Karen. Oh, what's she like? She's a mum. And by the sounds of it, she's not had it very easy. Mm. Right, that's 1560, please. None of us have had it easy. We don't all go around punching Sharon in the face, what? do we? Well, look, unless she crosses me again, I'm prepared to let bygones be bygones, cos everyone deserves a second chance, don't they? Anyway, a bit mixed relief that you're back. It's been a long time. And he's had it hard, you know. Oh, that's all I keep hearing. I mean, what was I meant to do? My mum had had a stroke. Yeah. I suppose you're going to tell me next how wonderful Whitney's been and what a great team her and Mick yeah. are. Yeah. You OK? Oh, yeah. I had to come to look back. Mick called me. He said he'd started to have feelings. <laughs> oh. Okay, look. I'm glad he's told you, and it's all in the past. Mm. I've got to admit, I didn't know what to think when I saw him at the hospital. What? Well, after the bus crash, I saw him kissing. And you know what? I've, I've wondered about telling you, and I just sort of felt like it's not any of my business. But like I say, come on, it's good he told you. And clearly, you're fine with Whitney now, aren't you? <laughs> Mm -hmm. You'll find it because... Kim! No! It's true, it's true, it's true, it's true, it's true. It's true.